cold and now it's something else I don't know anyway I'm gonna be doing a makeup show on this makeup look for you it's pretty much my current go-to look if I was going like out like out for dinner or out clubbing or anything like that um, I particularly like it because it makes your eyes look a bit more like elongated and like almondy which I really like that look I've got quite close together eyes so this helps make them not look too close if I wear like a dark smoky eye or a halo eye which I do love um, it makes my eyes look a lot closer together when they're already quite close together anyway. So I think definitely this eye makeup works for my eye shape best. Um, you guys always seem to like my pictures when they when I have this look and ask on Snap like how I do it and stuff. So here it is. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so starting off, I've already done my eyebrows, which look hella crazy right now with no makeup on. I use the Dip Brow by Anastasia, but I'll leave all that good stuff down below. For primer and a base, I'm using, this is brand new, this came literally just before I started filming. And it's by a brand called Touch and Glow, never heard of them, and it's a radiance cream. It says instantly illuminates for a luminous complexion, and it was bomb, like I really liked it. Um, going in with foundation, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Golden on my damp beauty blender this is definitely by far one of my favorite foundations at the moment looking a bit orange right now but it's not in real life i don't know it, it suits my skin and my body really well i've got an annoying spot there so just ignore her she just didn't want to go away so just ignore her um moving on to concealer and highlighting the face i'm using the naked by urban decay and this is in the shade light warm um you don't need much of this stuff at all so i don't do like a full-on triangle i just do like this kind of sun shape and then across, wow, it's actually kind of like a religious symbol I'm doing on my face, which I didn't mean to do, but it's like across on my forehead and then just a few bits underneath my eyes, my chin and just underneath my lips. And I'm also putting this underneath the contour line as well, just to keep that area quite bright and it helps to find your contour and make it easier to contour in a second. I'm just using my damp beauty blender to blend that all out. And then for the cream contour, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in number 30. Um, I absolutely love this for cream contour, but I forgot why I stopped using it on camera, and it's because on camera it comes out super orange, but in real life it's not that orange. It's really strange. I don't know why my camera does that sometimes, but I'm just using this to contour my face. So my cheekbones, I do that bit of that line by my eye. I feel like this helps with the elongatingness because that is a word, of your eye. I don't know, I do it a lot recently and I just feel like it makes that bit just look, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Just try it and see if you like it. I like it. <laughs> um, so just applying all of that and then again, blending out with my damp beauty blender. So you can see at this stage, like it looks pretty orange, um, but it doesn't, when it's all blended out together and you're finished with your face, it doesn't look like that. But you can see it's a really nice contour. It blends out really nicely as well. Um, so then I'm going to be setting my under eyes as always with my Laura Mercier translucent powder Oh, this is almost running out like I really have to shake it to get some out now It's just really annoying. I need to buy another one um, And applying it with my damp beauty blender I, I apply a pretty small amount just push it in that area just to make sure it doesn't crease And then I'm going in with this is also new. This is a morphe palette and it's like a bronzer It's called that glow bronzer palette. Oh my god. It's amazing. Like I love it and it's so affordable the shade I use is this one here, which is pretty dark. Um, well, it's not dark, but it's quite dark. But because that bronzer, the concealer we used to contour was quite dark anyway, this is worked really well. It's so nice. Like, I've been using this palette ever since I got it, which was like two days ago. And I absolutely love it. For highlight, yay, I'm using something different. <laughs> I'm using the balm, the Mary Luminizer. This is an oldie but a goodie. And I'm using that on this Sigma Tapered Highlight Brush, which is also actually new and it's bomb for highlight. I always see everyone else have it and I've never had it, so I got it and now I'm like, yay! <laughs> um, so I'm just highlighting the face with that. Mary Luminizer is such a good highlight. Like, every time I go back to it, I'm like, yes! Um, so I'm just using it to highlight my nose as well and then as always finishing with MAC Fix Plus to get rid of that powderiness. 
going in now with the eyes i'm using the Too Faced chocolate semi-sweet palette which looks like this this is bomb and it smells amazing the only shade i'm using is peanut butter so first of all starting off with my sigma e40 which is obviously a large soft fluffy brush i'm literally applying this all over my eyelid and my crease just to give you a wash of color throughout the whole eyelid but nothing too crazy which using a soft fluffy brush is going to give you that effect i then go in with my mac 217 which is obviously a slightly slightly more defined and smaller crease brush i'm using this to work the product into my crease and just that outer corner so you don't want to take this into your crease into the very inner part you just want to focus this product on the outer corner so this eye look i've done using just this one eyeshadow so it's just the one eyeshadow but it just shows you how different brushes can give you different depths of color and also create different techniques making it look like i'm wearing two different colors when i'm actually just wearing the one um, so I'm just going back and forth between the two brushes making sure there's no harsh lines but also making sure that that outer V area is very much darker than the rest of your eye but it's not a heavy makeup look so still soft um, but you can see I'm working it on that very outer corner like I'm not even it's, ba it's like hardly even my eye like it's the very outer part of my eye because that's going to help with the making your eyes look longer and more elongated and almondy shape um, just blending all that out and then we'll be going in with this is my Urban Decay Whiskey Liner you guys know that this eyeliner makes an appearance in probably about 80% of my videos I love it it's such a good liner and I'm doing the technique I did in one of my other videos where you put the liner on your waterline and a tiny bit on your lash line making sure you really wiggle it in the lashes and then using this Real Techniques crease brush I'm just blending it out and winging it out as I'm blending so applying it to the lash line and then with the brush smudging it so it's not going to be a defined line at all but you're just smudging it out and then winging out that edge just to help give that that outer v a bit more definition before we go in with our actual liner so every step you're creating an elongated almond eye so it kind of builds up to like a full-on almond eye if that makes sense liner this is my favorite but choose whichever weapon is best for you but whichever weapon did i just say that <laughs> your weapon of choice mine is this i find this the easiest the blackest and i love it because it's matte this is the maybelline matte liner did i say that already i don't know um so you're going to create a wing but just on the outer half of your eye so you don't want to put any liner on that inner part of your eye just take it to where your eye peaks so like if you look straight you're taking it basically to the center of your eye where your pupil is and then you're winging it out and kind of up a little bit that's up to you how far you wing it up you could go straight or you can go slightly up towards your eyebrow that just depends on what suits you better i have mine at a slight up angle but nothing too crazy not like a massive up but definitely up um obviously it's going to be thicker on the outer part that triangle we just made you can see that we're just filling in now but the key to this is to make sure you just put it on your outer half of your eye this is the kind of thing that Angelina Jolie does to make her eyes look more almondy and like kind of sexy. Lashes, I'm going in with Huda Beauty. These are Farah. You want to choose lashes that wing out. These ones have a wing out, so they're shorter in the inner part of your eye and they're longer on the edge. So again, this is also going to help you create that look. So a few steps there to help you get this kind of eye shape. I'm just applying mascara. This is the Too Faced Better and Sex mascara, my favourite just to make sure the lashes blend. I am going in with a little bit of black liner just to line my tight line in that inner part just to make sure the lashes blend. Right, moving on to the lower lash line, I'm taking a nude liner. This is Jordana in the shade Almond, how appropriate for the look. Um, I'm just lining my waterline with this. Um, you really, this is quite a key point for the lower lash line because you want to make sure your eyes stay quite open even though you want them to be almondy because we're going to go in with something darker on the outer corner now so first of all i'm taking peanut butter on a flat definer brush and i'm putting that directly underneath that liner so on the actual lash line and bringing it in around halfway about the same as the liner but gradually fading it out and then i'm also going to go into some black in the palette so this is just the darkest shade and i'm applying that to the very outer part of the eye here kind of connecting it to the wing and just pushing it on that outer part but don't bring this anywhere further than like the edge of your colored part if you were looking forward if that makes sense highlighting the inner part of your eye with a highlighter is definitely important as well this is going to make your eyes look a little bit further apart i'm just using the mary luminizer again and then just apply some mascara to the lower lashes 
Right, moving on to lips. I actually did two lip options today because I couldn't decide. So first of all, I'm lining them with MAC Saw. Both lip looks I've lined with this lip liner. This is like, look how small this lip liner is. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite lip liners. So I'm just lining them with this. And the first look is gonna be a gloss. Um, so I'm gonna go in with a Too Faced. This actually came today as well. This is a Too Faced Melted Chocolate. Um, it's like a long wear lipstick in the shade Chocolate Milkshake, I think it's called. Um, so yeah, I just applied this all next. So look how pigmented that is for a, like a gloss, like it's insane. Um, so I just applied that all over my lips. So this would be your glossy option. Really pretty color, but I just don't wear gloss. So I changed and I went in with, you guessed it, ColourPop Beeper. It's just my absolute favorite color at the moment. I just can't get enough of it. I wear it all the time. It's just bomb. I just love it so much. So same liner, Max Saw, and they're just going in with Beeper. And then that is your finished look with the second lip option. No, I really hope you liked it. I'm sorry about my voice. This is me really trying to speak loud. Um, anyway, I hope you like the makeup look. It's one of my personal favourites, so I hope you liked it too, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh,